So from our sketch, it appears that the assumption is correct. So we'll verify this using calculations. First, let's find the coordinates for point B, the midpoint of AC, and point E, which is the midpoint of AD. So the midpoint of AC is given by our midpoint formula. We sub in x1 is negative 1, x2 is negative 3, y1 is 4, y2 is negative 4, negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4, 4 plus negative 4 is 0. So when we divide each by 2, we get that the midpoint of AC is negative 2, 0. The midpoint of AD, negative 1 plus 5 divided by 2, and 4 plus 0 divided by 2. So we get 4 over 2 and 4 over 2. So the midpoint of AD, which is our point E, is at 2, 2. So now that we know these points, we can use the slope of BE to show that it's parallel to CD. So we'll calculate the slope of BE as well as the slope of CD. So Y2 is 2, Y1 is 0, X2 is 2, x1 is negative 2, 2 minus 0 is 2, 2 minus negative 2 is 4, 2 over 4 reduces to a slope of 1 half for BE. For CD, 0 subtract negative 4, over 5 subtract negative 3, gives us 4 over 8, which reduces to 1 half. So since the slopes are the same, BE is parallel to CD. So now all we need to show is the le that the length of BE is half the length of CD. So we'll use our length formulas. Subbing in, the length of BE is 2 minus negative 2 squared plus 2 minus 0 squared. So this gives us 4 squared plus 2 squared. 16 plus 4, so we get 20 under the root sign, so the length of BE is the square root of 20. For CD, 5 subtract negative 3 squared plus 0 subtract negative 4 squared gives us 8 squared plus 4 squared, 64 plus 16, so the length of CD is the root of 80. So now, to show that the root of 20 is equal to half the root of 80. You can use your calculator or we can simplify these roots. The root of 20 is equal to the root of 4 times the root of 5. The root of 80 is equal to the root of 16 times the root of 5. Since 80 is 16 times 5, 20 is 4 times 5. The root of 4 we know is 2, so the length of BE is equal to 2 root 5. The root of 16 is 4, so the length of CD is equal to 4 root 5. So since CD is twice this, 4 is twice 5, or 2 is half of 4. Sorry, 4 is twice 2, or 2 is half of 4. We could say that the length of BE is half of the length of CD. So now I would like you to complete the final geometer sketchpad activity on your worksheet regarding triangles.